Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you? Uh, uh, what is it? At the bachelor party, you finger flipped like a six foot pyramid. It was fucking sick. Yeah. Was that Matt Miller? Yeah. Another one that lives in Long Beach. Long Beach, oversaturated skate. Can't get away from it. <laughs> Pro skateboards everywhere. Matt, Matt Miller just walked by. Hey. <laughs> take the side knobs off the rail. Someone had cut, I think Dane Berman had cut the knobs, but they were on the side of the rail, came up like that. So you could grind it, but to blunt side it or anything, you had to like take the rest of the knob off and still on the side. We went there at like 10 o'clock, there were cars in the parking lot, we went and got some food, hung out for like an hour, came back at 11. There's still cars in the parking lot, so we kind of just like mingled around for a little bit till he left, like busted into school, got to work, ended up having the wrong Sawzall blade, Batteries weren't charged. We had the generator in the school trying to charge the batteries. Our battery charger wouldn't work. Aaron and David were on lookout. Yeah, we were on lookout. And then like two hours later, they finally give up. Yeah, two hours later, all the batteries were dead. Mills came up with a plan. He said he was gonna finish the job. There's still three knobs left to be taken off. He was gonna finish the job in the morning we were skating it. Halfway through the drive, but we just came up with a group and we're like, that is way too sketchy. And we went back to his house, found his other battery charger. It worked. Put the generator on the roof, charged the batteries on the fly, drove back to fucking El Toro, <laughs> and then uh, got back to work. And then with the right equipment, busted it out, like 20 minutes, we're done. But in the end, it ended up being like four in the morning when we left the school. And then yeah. got up the next day at like 10 o'clock, went and skated the park. And I feel like I put everything out yeah, there. Yeah, Aaron's a pretty. It, like, I don't really care too much about my person. I don't really care too much about my image or just myself in general. So <laughs> I just let it all out there. What is something? He's got um, too much love to give. <laughs> Whenever I get drunk, I always like get sad because I never get chicks. But then I just think to myself, it's because I have too much love to give that none of these girls can handle this love. So I just give it to all my bros instead. <laughs> give it right. They deserve it. They deserve it a lot more, dude. They've been there. Um, I got shingles a couple weeks ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. People probably don't know that. People don't know that. Yeah. Directly related to um, a bad immune system. And stress. And stress, aka the uh, bird out from here. Me and David didn't sleep for both premieres. When you're, when you're on the ride with Deloy, you know what's coming. <laughs> you better buckle up, man. Otherwise, just get the fuck out of that train. Car seat, baby. <laughs> yeah. The one night in LA, stayed awake all night, went to Encinitas, and then stayed up until like 9 in the morning the next day. So I stayed up for like a total of 50 hours, and I didn't shower, and I was drinking the whole time, and I was sleeping on like floors and shit. And then you weren't sleeping. Oh, right, I wasn't sleeping, but when I was <laughs> sleeping, it was like in the RV, like with a bunch of stinky ass, nasty stuff around. He didn't know it was shingles, he just had a rash on his back, big rash. And um, I was like, oh, I'll fix that up for you. And I had some athlete's foot cream, and I was like, anti-fungal, like, this is what we need. <laughs> just smeared it all over his back. So he smeared it the up shingle. Like He's like sleeping on the couch, and like sleeping on the floor, He's other his couch, balls, just rubbing like, it all around. And shit. Yeah. Lo and behold, I go home, I'm like, oh cool, I have shingles. The lady's like, yeah, it's super contagious. In my brain, I'm like so worried about shingles. And then like I, a week later, like me and Clive get on the phone. I was like, yeah, dude, I got shingles. He's like, yeah, is it contagious? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, motherfucker, you should have told me. And I'm like, I was like, why didn't you tell me when you found out? And he just goes, uh, well, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have anything else to say. Like, yeah, you're right, I should have told you. Lo and behold, no. now my immune system is strong enough, didn't get any shingles. After yeah, the premiere, yeah, I had like, you said you got it too. Yeah, you got, uh, you get like a bittersweet sadness. It was like, we were so happy that it came out, but then I was like laying in my bed, like Monday morning, and I was like, oh man, I was like, it's over, like, <laughs> yeah. damn it, like. Uh, post, post video depression. <laughs> yeah. He's a professional. 
It's so fun. Hands down professional. He's so on point. If you want something a certain way, he will make it that way. His work like, ethic too. Like, exactly. A lot of people don't like being pushed to skate or do something, but I like it. I know Aaron likes I it. I love it, dude. And mm -hmm. so that's perfect. Like he gets yeah. us pumped and he like even if you believe in any idea we have, even the most outlandish thing, you'll be like, all right, let's do it. Like, you need me to lay some concrete down? Like, let's get it done. He's the type of person to where you feed off of. Like, he sees your psych, he gets really psyched. And then when he gets really psyched, you get really psyched. His spot book on that his phone, too. if anybody has this, like, he has the fucking gnarliest spot book, dude. With all the pictures and GPS location just like ready to go. We could dude. just go to a zone. We'd be like, pick a spot that you want to skate. We'll go to that zone. If it doesn't work out, you're like, there's five other ones. <laughs> what do you think about this? <laughs> we're like, we tried to get uh, Lizzie to do it with us today. She just texted me back and she just woke up. <laughs> she just woke up. What yeah. a fucking pile. <laughs> I did not know that Clive was going to go pro that night. I mean, I heard that he was going pro, but I didn't know it was going to be that night, right then and there. And then, I got a picture of Clive kissing his mom on the cheek, holding his board, and that was like, yes! That was my <laughs> fucking favorite thing that I got. After the premiere, we went to black, and then that was kind of a blur, and then we ended up going back to Tony's hotel. We just ended up wrestling like little kids the whole time. We were like wrestling for like an hour and the next day I woke up and I had a black eye. And I was like, yeah, that was a good night. My most memorable moment was um, when Tony was giving a speech and he compared our crew to the Bones Brigade crew. Like the feel that he had back then and the feel that he got now skating with us. I don't know. <laughs> the, most, the most insane was like the next day. We took a party bus down to Encinitas for a second showing. The party bus the next night was definitely a highlight, dude. That is, David racked a stripper pole. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were crowd surfing them, and everyone's all like, just like, don't really know where we're going. And there's a bunch of stripper poles in there, and we were in between two of them. Somehow ended up crowd surfing them with his legs spread into the stripper pole. Horizontal <laughs> yeah. rack, dude. Ha ha ha!